up guys it's the real deal welcome back to the channel guys today we're taking on sincero's in sincero's marsh um ex3 and this team is full auto uh, the fastest that i've done it is in 45 seconds so it's a very very fast team also means we can pick up these limited recruitment cards as well which is always nice so this is the team we're rolling with and you can see we've got no energy heroes at all uh, just using summoners so we've got anpu the most broken hero in the game i can't think of anyone better than anpu just like pumps out crazy damage um like the numbers are just like on another level <laughs> insane and literally you can use them everywhere jacks as well just like so strong just like anpu not as good as anpu when it comes to damage but still a very very good hero and then sif I really like Sif. Great addition to the game. Um, you know, obviously good with damage, but also quite tanky as well. So three solid summoners. Then we got Orphan as our tank. And then we've got Miranda as our healer support. Um, what's great about Miranda, she brings a shield. So she's going to protect us at the very start of the fight. But saying that, you know, we could probably get away with five summoners. But I just wanted to, you know, sort of, if you still got like an early game account, you're still working on your summoners, you may not have five summoners. So this way you can just have like a different team comp. We've got the Kung Fu Panda as our commander. We've got the Dominant Nucleus as our first prototype. And this is basically just going to, you know, bump up the damage for our summoners. Um, ideally have it level 60 because it's going to make a big difference. You don't need to have it awakened like I do. All I'm using this for is that extra crit rate, which is just so good for summoners. It does really speed up your runs and massively bump up their damage. We got the Ruler's Ring, which is great for survivability for our summoners. And Sincero's Marsh is all about having survivability. Um, so what happens is um, any damage that our summoners take is going to distribute that amongst our minions. So that's 40%, which is crazy good um and then every time a summon dies the user so our summoners are going to be healed by five percent of their max hp and like Jax, he throws out an insane amount of summons so he's constantly going to be like healing himself up and Pooh, i think he only has three zombies so it's not a crazy amount but it's still very very good um the soul compass it doesn't have to be soul compass it could literally be any um support prototype the reason well and as long as it's one awakening we want to take the amber light curtain and what's so great about this is that we are getting damage reduction by 24 percent. that is crazy um it really does help it is going to give us that survivability just to basically get for it we completely ignore the spiderlings the eggs we don't have to worry about them because we just have that survivability. Uh, but also this one as well is Soul Compass is so good for the arena. Um, you definitely want to make sure you bring in four summoners for it so you can get that 50% chance to imprison each enemy unit for four seconds. Um, but also you get 150 energy initial at the start of the fight. So it just means that you can, well, for PvE, just means that you can sort of get to your ults quicker and you'll end up doing more damage. So can sort of speed up the run just a little bit so let's get on with the fight let's go boys taking out sinsaros um so my original team comp was exactly the same as that i ran for ex2 um so I took out sif and i had a ravener and to be honest i find her really underwhelming um i had to like manual the fight so you know i was having every time she got her ult up i'd have to like drag it over here focus the eggs and blow them up and she just, I just find her really underwhelming. Like her damage isn't as good. Um, and my my Raven art is like, she's got really good gear. She's maxed out. She's immortal. She has like, I think maybe plus four awakening. And she's just not that good. So yeah, really underrated champion. But yeah, as you can see as well, we've already lost Miranda. We're still going to be able to easily win this fight. So Anpu is always going to be in the lead for damage. Um, he's like almost, okay, 
He's at 60 mil and Jax is like 15. So that's four times the amount of damage. Kind of shows how strong he is. Sif is actually really lacking behind in this fight, which is kind of surprising. She She's a really good damage dealer. Um, but yeah, for some reason in this fight, <laughs> she's not putting out the numbers. And um, wow, that's it. It's, it's already over, guys. <laughs> I wasn't expecting it to be that quick. But yeah, Anpu, 80 mil. And then Jack's coming in 17. Just, yeah, another level. But yeah, maybe maybe I should drop Miranda and bring in another support. Uh, support another another summoner but anyway let's check out the builds guys <laughs> a little more back there we go so let's kick things off with our tank orthan absolutely love this guy i think he's probably the best tank for an early account like you know my account's probably sort of going into mid game now and he's been a hard carry for me like literally um, resurrection, knockdown, can self revive, just so good. So for Orthan, we're obviously taking opportunistic. Um, so good on him, damage reduction. We're getting more max HP, and we can recover HP as well. Substats, we're looking for accuracy, damage reduction, and HP. Um, HP on the gloves, HP on the helm, and then damage reduction on the boots. One point nine mil HP. 37 accuracy, a little bit on the low side, but it doesn't really matter at the moment. You know, survivability is more important for now. Um, and then we've got damage reduction, 68%. Cray cray. So um, exclusive maxed out. Talents, of course, were maxed out. And then for the support, Miranda. Miranda, I was using her like mythic plus one, and she was still able to do this. Um, she didn't even have any awakening on her either. So she's very, very good for this fight. So we've got her in abundant. Rebirth would be better, but um, need to start farming some of that up. So substats, we're looking for accuracy, HP and damage reduction. HP on the gloves, accuracy on the helm, and then HP on the boots. Uh, 918k HP, 129 accuracy. Damage reduction on the very low side at 8.7, but um, it's okay. We're doing all right with her. Only plus 10 on the exclusive. Uh, talents fully maxed out. And then we'll come to the summoners. So we'll kick things off with Sif, who, yeah, was actually really underwhelming for this fight. But, um, you know, when I use it like in Holy Contract and stuff, she does pump out some big numbers. Um, she does she does do decent damage. But yeah, you want um attack, crit rate, and crit damage on her for the subs. So we've got crit rate on the gloves, and I'd say you always want to take crit rate first. Um, and then later, further down the line, you'll swap these out for crit damage gloves. We've got um attack percentage on the helm, got a little bit of um attack speed on her as well, which is always nice. Um, and then we've got attack percentage on the boots. Um, 35k attack, 50% crit rate, and then 27% crit damage, um, plus 15 on the weapon, and then again, maxed out on the masteries. And Pooh, who I absolutely went um, overkill on, did actually push that um, immortal to plus two. Um, yeah, I, I don't know, maybe I did go a little bit overkill, but he's so good that I feel like he's actually one of the people that's worth pushing for just for all of this for the arena because he is just a pure god. Um, but yeah, so we've got um, Hero on him and then we've also got Surge as well. Um, substats, we're looking for attack, crit rate, crit damage and accuracy. So a little bit of a stat hungry monster. Um, uh, yeah, crit rate on the gloves, plus four temper. You know, I do invest everything that i can into anpu uh, we've got accuracy on the helm and then we've got attack percentage on the boots with a nice triple roll in attack as well um exclusive maxed out as well on him and actually let's see where, where are we on our awakening plus seven i do want to push for plus eight just for um the insect killer can be really useful I guess everything else is just for the arena, but would be nice. I guess, you know, being able to do more damage to robot bosses as well is pretty neat as well. 
Um, and like I said, like, I don't know, on some buses, he's doing like 4 billion damage. And then the next person will be like 1 billion or 2 billion. He just really outperforms everyone. And then last but not least is Jax, who personally, he freaks me out. He's this weird fish guy. He's got a fish bazooka. I just find it, oh, I don't know. It gives me the, the heebie-jeebies. So um, for the equipment, we've got him in Hawkeye. And then we've also got Extraction as well. Extraction, so good on him. Um, you know, plus 15 HP. When a summon receives crit damage, heals for 5% of max HP. So it just gives him really good survivability. So on HP, accuracy, and damage reduction on him. We've got um, HP on the gloves, HP on the helm, and then damage reduction on the boots. 1.2 mil HP, 71 accuracy, and then um, 62 damage reduction. Exclusive, mixed out, uh, maxed out. You know, you always want your fish bazooka to be at full power. And again, talent's always maxed out on our best heroes. So that is pretty much the end of the video, guys. I hope this helps you build an, uh, an interesting team comp that will help you beat Sincero's Marsh EX3. But also, like these heroes will carry you in other pieces of content as well. There's so many sort of dungeons that I use them in. Like if we just come to the Triangle, um, Crimson Rot, Mirage Space, Molten Abyss, uh, even... Yeah, even Azura, I'm using summoners. So they can literally be used like like literally everywhere. Just some of the best heroes, like in my opinion, you know, they would be, are the best class in the game. I'd always focus summoners first. But that's pretty much the end of the video, guys. Please leave me a cheeky thumbs up. Make sure you smash, smash, smash that subscribe. And I'll see you all in a video soon. Peace.